Hello everyone and welcome to 5th North. I'm Demir and today I'll be installing a tail tidy on my 2024 Triumph Street Triple RS. Welcome back to the channel everyone. Today is an exciting day. As I mentioned earlier, I am installing a tail tidy on my bike. If you've seen my previous videos on my Triumph, you do know that I made a video talking about the five things that I don't like. And one of the items on that list was the factory tail. So I do understand there's DOT requirements. I do understand there's safety regulations and all that kind of good stuff. What I don't understand though is why the tails have to be so hideous. With that being said, it's time to get rid of the hideous tail and do something different. All right, so there's a lot of options out there for tail tidies when it comes to motorcycles and even for my specific model here. Um, after doing some research and looking for a company that was reputable and made high quality components and kits, I did decide to go with the brand called Moto Dynamic because they do make a kit for my bike and it was one that was really high quality. Um, looking at the materials, looking at the build quality, everything looked really, really solid. So that was the choice that I made um, when, you know, deciding on which one to use. Now, here's the thing about Moto Dynamic. They do have two separate kits for the 2024 Street Triple. There is the uh, the regular tail tidy, which is going to be kind of a, a shortened version of the factory. It kind of still hangs out in the same area, and it does include brackets for turn signals. There is a second version, and this is the version that I decided to go with, known as the low profile version. This one actually moves the um, the plate closer to the body of the bike underneath where the uh, closer to the tire and then on top of that it actually eliminates the brackets for the turn signals now obviously i still want and need turn signals so a kit like this would require a different turn signal solution if you guys actually tune into my next video i'll show you what i did to solve that that issue but with that being said let me show you guys the kit and let's go ahead and dive into the install all right so first things first remove the passenger seat cover We'll start there and then you want to start undoing these bolts here. Um, these four bolts are actually what holds the tail in place. So you're going to want to go ahead and remove all four. Uh, you've got the one, two, three, and then the fourth one is the one back here. Um, you want to go ahead and uh, loosen them and when you do take them out with a, uh, take the bolts out with the magnetic tool because the last thing you want to do is lose a bolt in this type of a space. So it'll be a real nightmare uh, to get it back if it falls down too far. So take out the bolts and then also take out these uh, metal uh, spacer looking things. You don't need those, so take those out as well. And then um, once you've gotten all of them out, you'll notice I took the three, but I left the fourth one in place. That way you don't have your tail just hit the ground. That fourth one kind of holds the tail in place. You'll see now it's loose but obviously not falling down. Okay, so now what you wanna do is you wanna loosen up that fourth bolt, but you do wanna hold onto the tail. That way, again, it doesn't hit the ground. What you don't wanna do is break the tail or your turn signals, cause you may wanna use them in the future. So hold onto the tail, loosen that fourth bolt, and it'll all start to come apart. Now, it won't come apart quite yet because there is a cable still running to the tail. So don't let the tail drop to the ground until you have a chance to unplug that um, that last cable. All right, so what you want to do is take this cable here, untuck it from this clip, and then once you have that, you can go ahead and hold on to the tail, unclip this um, this clip right here, and then the um, the cable should actually just slide right through the hole, and the whole thing comes uh, comes undone. There's also this little rubber piece here. You do want to hold on to that because you will need it. And then now what you want to do is work on the tail itself. So the tail here, um, you've got bolts on each side that hold the turn signals. You're going to want to go ahead and undo those and then undo the one on the back as well. And now you'll see the um, turn signals are kind of loose. They're undone. This should allow you to start to open up the plastic piece here and then go ahead and kind of give it a little bit of force. It'll come apart. You can kind of slide it open because you do need to get to the cables that are inside the tail. So you wanna get these cables out here, be very gentle that we don't break anything. So go ahead and open it up all the way. And it might take a little bit of effort, but eventually it will come apart. And once you've done that, you wanna go ahead and flip it over and start taking out all these cables here because we do need to remove just one part that we are gonna go ahead and reuse. You wanna grab all the cables. Um, the first thing you wanna do is kind of unclip everything. It's all kind of tucked into these little cable tidy or cable holder things. So get them all nice and unclipped. And then what you wanna do is pull everything out. And then you'll notice that you've got a couple of different connectors. The first connector is the back one here. Go ahead and unclip that one because you're not gonna use that last part there. And then once you've done that, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and grab these, um, these white and black connectors here. There's, uh, there's four of them. You wanna go ahead and grab all of them 
and you basically just pull them apart. They kind of twist and pull, and uh, as you get them all apart, you'll get the last piece that we need to actually carry over to the tail tidy kit. All right, so once you've disconnected everything, you do have this little part right here. This is all we need. Take this part and move it back to your bike because we are gonna reuse this piece uh, for the tail tidy. All right, so remember that rubber piece that I was telling you about? Make sure you grab it. There's a couple of things you have to do to this piece. Uh, you are gonna reuse it, but you do have this little rubber flap here. You kind of have to push it in and it's a little bit tricky, but you have to basically fold it in on itself and that'll make the um, the one side flat, which before it wasn't flat, it kind of stuck out from the rubber grommet. And the reason you want to make it flat like this is because now the metal piece can kind of um, be flush, whereas before the rubber grommet would have been in the way. So go ahead and grab it, fold it in, make sure it's nice and tucked in, make sure it's not pinched or anything like that. And then once you have it, you'll go ahead and reinstall it. All right, so now you want to take this cable right here and you also want to take uh, this part right here. This part is going to be the light that goes above your license plate. So you want to go ahead and get that part and then we'll go ahead and install it to the actual bracket. All right, so you'll notice once you have the bracket, the MD logo is supposed to be right side up. So obviously um, you can kind of see it's facing down that way. That's how it's going to be off the bike. Go ahead and grab, um, again, this little light switch here. You've got the two bolts. They'll go into these holes and then that middle hole is going to be where, where the cable goes. And make sure you've got the lights pointing down. That way it actually hits your license plate rather than, you know, shooting off into the sky. Make sure you slide the cables through one at a time. That way they actually fit and you don't damage any of the connectors. And then now you're basically able to tighten these bolts into the license plate frame. Okay, so once you've got the cables through, you've got the bolts through. All you got to do now is grab the little um, washers and nuts that come with it, tighten it down and you're good to go. This part, very important not to over tighten because you can potentially damage uh, the plastic housing that's holding the bulbs. So, you know, tighten it, but don't go too crazy because you don't want to damage anything. All right, so here's what it looks like when you're done. You want to make sure it's nice and straight. All right, so now what you want to do is take this cable here, grab the uh, little clip end fittings that they have and connect them. Uh, very simple, just follow the colors. Really can't get it wrong. You've got black, black, white, white. You just want to make sure it matches and it'll give you no issues. And then make sure you actually push them all the way in. That way they snap. That's how you know they're fully connected. All right, so now you want to grab the rubber gasket. Again, you're going to be reusing this part after you folded it. You want to go ahead and put it back into this part here. Um, um, it may or may not stick on its own, so you might have to hold it until you put the other piece in, but it does go between the tail tidy and the body of the bike. All right, so this part here, you want to go ahead and take the license plate frame, and you want to take this uh, metal part here. Uh, this is where the cable is going to run through, kind of this little channel that, that was made. It'll keep the uh, cable from getting pinched. So what you really want to do is line this part up correctly. Obviously, it goes just one way because it matches the shape, but you'll see here how you got to tuck the license plate light through the channel into the middle part and then out of the hole um, to keep it from being pinched but still functional. And once you've tucked it properly, it should all line up nice and neat and you've got a cable running through that middle part. And now you wanna go ahead and take these screws here and these washers here and you're gonna use these to um, mount everything back up to the bike. All right, so go ahead and line up the, the tail tidy bracket to the bottom opening of the bike where the tail used to be. Again, just make sure it lines up nice and straight with the metal bracket and the uh, metal piece and obviously the rubber gasket as well. But first you wanna make sure you run the cable through. Um, there is just the one hole here um, you run the cable through lines up perfectly to, uh, to the part on the on the metal bracket that it's coming through so kind of really hard to get it wrong because there's only one place that it goes through once it comes through you'll see it on the other side of the body and now you want to go ahead and put the four screws uh, back in to hold the tail tidy in place and what i like to do here is kind of tighten them all just a little bit not all the way that we can kind of really get the piece to hold in place but you still have a little bit of looseness to adjust it until you get it exactly straight and then you want to go ahead and tighten it down all right so now that you've tightened everything you've got everything the way it should be now it's time to reconnect the cables. You do want to bring back that multi-cable piece that you took off the original tail. And what you want to do is take this end of it, plug it into the tail light, um, which is going to go right here. So basically at this point, your tail tidy install is completed. You've mounted the hardware of the tail tidy. You've tightened it all down. Everything's nice and secure. You've got the cable plugged into the tail light. And then what you have left is these four plugs that go into your turn signals. Now this part here is very simple. If you got the non-low profile tail tidy, 
um, your turn signals that mount to the tail tidy will just plug into here. Or if you got the integrated tail light, which you're going to use if you got the low profile version tail tidy like I did, your integrated tail light cables will plug into here. This part I'll actually show in the next video where I do the tail light install. Um, so for right now, I'm just going to leave it as is. And the uh, only thing left to do is to check to make sure that the license plate light works and the tail tidy install is pretty much complete. All right, so that's it. Install is nice and done. And as you guys can see, um, a massive difference from what it used to look like. The before and after I think is quite dramatic. Um, before you had a beautiful bike with a large, massive, ugly tail. And now thanks to Moto Dynamics Tail Tidy Kit, the low, pro uh, low profile version, as I mentioned, the back of the bike looks as beautiful as the rest of the bike does. So um, really happy with the end result. Again, the fit and finish and the quality of the kit is uh, fantastic. It really looks like a factory part. There were uh, no issues, no, uh, you know, hack jobs, no splicing, no cutting. Everything was built to work perfectly, installed perfectly, and it's totally reversible as well. So a really cool option there in case you ever decide you want to go back to uh, back to normal. I don't know why you would because it looks way better, but you do have the option. All right. So with that being said, you guys, if you found this video useful or if you think the bike looks amazing, hit that like button for me. And if you're not already subscribed, hit the subscribe button as well. There is another big part going on this bike soon, so you do want to have that notification bell turned on. That way you'll know when that video comes out. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you on the next video. Peace.